creature. While you were sleeping, I finished my greatest creation, the Collector. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel and another toy review. My last video, I did a review on the Prince Adam and Cringer 2-pack. And today, I am sticking with the Cartoon Collection line. And I have... The Collector. Evil Airship of Skeletor. And I have to admit that I was super excited to get this. Because this is one vehicle that has never been released in any of the Masters of the Universe toy lines. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's start by taking a look at the box. And on the front, just like with the Prince Adam and Cringer, uh, as I pointed out, they have He-Man and Masters of the Universe, Collector, Evil Airship of Skeletor, we've got Man at Arms down here, Battle Cat, uh, Skeletor and Web Store driving the Collector, grabbing a hold of He-Man. We have the Filmation Castle Grayskull, which is really cool. And at the top, we have the Talon Fighter, with Tila inside and a couple of the uh, palace guards on sky sleds. Flip it down to the top. We have the play features. Uh, fits three Masters of the Universe origin action figures. Grasp enemies and collect them as prisoners. And unleash blast effects at enemies. On the side, we have She-Ra and Swift Wind. And hopefully this will be released uh, because, you know, the Origins line really never did anything with She-Ra and the Princess of Power line other than just the She-Ra figure. So hopefully that will be coming out. And on the other ends, we have Imp, which is the uh, shape-shifting spy from Hordak. And he was also on the Cringer box, so this is twice now that they've kind of teased him and put him on the on the artwork so hopefully you know they'll do more with the evil horde line as well take a look at the back we have a cross sell of all the figures that have been pretty much released so far man at arms stratos tila trap jaw he-man battling skeletor we got merman web store beast man evil lynn and driving the ship Looks like Clawful and Spike Ore, which have not been released. And at the top, we have the Origins Snake Mountain. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box. And here is everything out of the box. Didn't come with a whole lot, and assembly was really easy. Had the two fins that just snapped in. It says one-time assembly, so I wouldn't recommend trying to get these back out again. Came with the two blast effects. Uh, overall first impression, I think this looks badass. I think they did a really good job, you know, mimicking the ship from the cartoon. And as you saw in the beginning, this first appeared in the episode Colossal Awakes, where Skeletor created the ship and was going around and turning everybody in the stone. So I really like the, the translucent yellow that they used for... You know, the windshield, like done with the eyes and then also the nose. So it has that skull look. Uh, the claws basically just pull out. They use the same translucent yellow on these. And, you know, these will rotate around. Let's push back in. You can put the two blast effects in. If you choose to display it that way. And open it up this just lifts up so we have the three chairs with kind of like the captain's chair being gold for Skeletor we do have a clip in here which is nice which will hold his havoc staff there's not a ton of detail in here as far as like stickers um, some really nice sculpting on the chairs though you have the control yoke here which is articulated and Two controls over here, kind of just more for for deco. Let's bring in Skeletor and see how he fits. And because it took me a while to actually do the unboxing on this, 
Um, I know there's other reviews out there. I tried not to watch them because I wanted to give you my honest opinion. But I know some of the the criticism was the fact that the figures really don't sit in the chair. They kind of lean back. I don't really feel that that is a uh, a knock on the on the ship. I think that's just more the way the figures are designed. They don't have enough range of motion to you know fully extend their legs out. And it was the same way with the Origins line. If you look at Snake Mountain with the Bone Throne with Skeletor, he doesn't really sit in there. So let's get Skeletor in there. Put his Havoc staff. Now the only other bad guy I have for the cartoon collection so far is Trapjaw. So let's put him in the seat. At least see if maybe he can reach the yoke here. Put that in his hand. So there we have Skeletor trap jaw. Let's see how this closes. Just snaps down. And obvi obviously this ship is not to scale. Uh, it, I mean this the thing is massive. You know it holds three figures. We have yet to have a vehicle released when the Origins line you know that can hold three figures. The Talon Fighter holds two. And basically, you got to remember that this was pretty much designed for us, for the adult collectors, because this was something that has never been released in any of the lines. So I think it's awesome to have this. And I wouldn't want something like a HasLab or a crowdfund, because this thing would have to be like three times the size if they were to make it to scale. Because if you've seen that episode of the cartoon, you know, Skeletor was, was standing up, running around on the ship with Beastman, did battle with He-Man... You have the door here, which Beastman flew out of with a with a sky sled. But I mean, this this thing is is really a good size. And I'll bring in a couple other vehicles, you know, for comparison um, to give you a better idea. But I, I think the sculpt is really nice, the detailing in it, and on the bottom, I know that there is there is a hole for a flight stand. Unfortunately, this did not come with a flight stand. I really felt that it should have. It's not a big deal to me because I'm I'm probably just going to hang this above my Eternia anyways. And I ordered a second one. I don't know if I'm going to open it. Um, but if I do, then maybe I'll just go to Ollie's and pick up another, you know, Wind Raider for 10 bucks. But let's see how this goes in there, though. So it will snap in. Um, it is going to be a balancing act because, like I said, this this ship has some really good weight to it and size. If Mattel was to include a flight stand, like this would have to be a lot wider on the bottom. So I know a lot of people are critiquing that because it didn't come with a flight stand. But you know, you do a balancing act. You can put it. You can put it on your shelf that way. So let's go ahead and take the flight stand off. Let's remove the blast effects and let's bring in, let's bring in a figure here and see how it grabs them. Now, it would would have been nice if these were spring loaded. These are just basically just like a like a soft rubber. Um, so here we have He-Man. So it will grab a figure, which is pretty cool. And here it is next to the Wind Raider. Now, the Wind Raider, this is from the Origins line. Uh, Mattel really upscaled this to begin with. This is a lot bigger. If you own the vintage Wind Raider, you know that this is a lot bigger. So there's the Wind Raider, and there's the Collector. So you can see that it's, it's definitely a lot bigger than just the Wind Raider. And here it is next to the Talon Fighter. And the Talon Fighter will hold two figures, so I have He-Man and Tila in there. And as you know, the Collector will hold three, three figures. But you can definitely see how much larger the Collector is, even next to the Talon Fighter. So when I pre-ordered this, I figured it would sell out immediately, given the past history of some of the other Mattel creations, releases for the Origins line. 
So I ordered two of them, and I'm very glad that I did. I'm super stoked to finally add this iconic ship from the cartoon to my collection. Now because this has been out for a while, I know some of the other reviews aren't that great and people have complained about it. But I really feel that it was worth the $40 given the size and the fact that this had never been released. I mean, I just paid $33 for Night Stalker, which was a simple repaint from Stridor. But what are your guys' thoughts? Were you in on the collector or did you pass? And if you ordered it, did you order more than one like I did? And that's going to do it for this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. If so, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and just joining in, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.